Hey YouTube, we're JP500 here today again. I'm doing a review today on a gun that I own. QB78 air rifle. Got I purchased it at uh, Archer Air Guns for $220. Um, the normal retail price of the gun is $89.99. Um, I did, I got a bunch of upgrade parts for it, bipod, um, this scope didn't come with it, this is a 6 to 24 by 42 millimeter scope that I have for it, um, obviously 24 times is overkill for an air gun, but, um, I think I'm going to make an exception this time, because this is probably one of the most accurate air rifles I've ever seen, um, it gets quarter inch groups at 10 yards, Easily at one inch groups at 30 yards. Um, right now I have it sighted at 10 yards, which it's also sighted at 30 yards. Because the bullet rises out of the barrel as it's shot. So when it hits the target at 10 yards, the uh, pellet is still rising. It's a 22 caliber pellet. Um, actually, I have to aim underneath the target at 20 yards, about um, 0.75 mil dots underneath the target. Um, so it so it rises into the target and it comes back down to the target place where I aimed at 30 yards out to there. Then you use your mill dots to judge for distance and stuff like that. Um, it's not really affected by wind that much. I'm shooting a I use 14.3 grain uh, Crossman Premier Hollow Point pellets. They seem to be the most accurate in this gun. Um, I'm gonna get into the features of the gun now. It, it has a beautiful um, laminate wood stock. Um, no thumb hole, uh, no thumb hole grip. It's just a standard uh, laminate wood stock. Um, rubber recoil pad for it. Really comfortable. Not like you're going to have that much recoil on it anyway, though. Um, sorry, there's a car going by right now. Um, anyway, you're not going to have that much recoil on it. It's an air gun. Um, like I said, it's really accurate because it's CO2 powered. It's not spring powered. And because of that, there's almost no recoil, which adds to the accuracy. Now, the gun is bolt action. I got the QB78 Deluxe version, which comes with the gold bolt and the gold trigger. The trigger is about a one pound trigger, one pound, 12 ounces or something. It's extremely light, um, which adds to accuracy as well. Because normal brake barrel, my, my gamma of Big Cat 1200 is like, like six pounds maybe. That's not bad. But once you pull the trigger on this thing, I mean, it surprises you every time. You barely have to pull it. Um, now, how do you work the QV78? Pull the bolt back. Right there is the breech. You drop a pellet into the breech, and you push the, the bolt forward and down. That's once, of course, it's been charged with CO2. Now, you can do that ahead of time if you want. Uh, I normally wait. In the front of the gun, you have threads with this cap right here. You unscrew that, you take two CO2, uh, two CO2 cartridges, one facing out and one facing in. The first one goes facing in, the second one goes facing out. And you screw this thing back on and it has a little point on it and that point will pierce both of them. And then you take one shot, because the first shot's a little bit low, First shot's a little bit low because it has to pressurize the system. That's why our car's going by today. Once the system's pressurized, uh, you'll get roughly 50 consistent shots uh, before uh, with good groupings on the standard QB78. Um, it has fiber optic sights right here, front and rear. Can't really see the rear one because of my humongous scope. Um, Safety is right here. You push that back, and the safety you can pull this. You can pull the trigger, but nothing happens. It's very good safety. Um, that's pretty much it for the external features. Um, I mean, it's, it's just a really beautiful gun. Um, I'm gonna get into a shooting test now. Hey YouTube, four JP five hundred here again. Uh, with the shooting test for the QB78. This is my own custom QB78. Got at Archer Air Guns for $220. Um, I have 
every upgrade part you can get at Archer Air Guns, except the degassing key, which after you've shot um, your CO2 to the point that um, it's affecting performance, you can, there's a normally if you get the, um, the degassing key, there's a little hole right here. You can put in this little Allen key. Uh, it's proprietary, but it's just like this little like screw thing that lets all the gas out. So you don't have to keep pulling the bolt back and firing. I didn't get that, and I didn't get the HDD, the hammer to bounce device, which gives you 50% more shots uh, per fill of CO2. I decided not to get that um, for the main reason I couldn't afford it. Um, not that, not like it was that much more expensive, but I figured I might as well just get the upgrade parts that give it more power. Uh, this is a 22 pellet rifle. It hits at a muzzle velocity of 720 feet per second, giving 21 joules of energy for you math people out there, um, which translates to about 1,200 feet per second with a 177. And um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be shooting 30 yards from there down to the target down there. From there. Now, oops. Need the camera stand. Now, I have, uh, from 30 yards, I have hit a dime before and it put a hole in it. Um, I couldn't find the dime after I shot it, but no, I hit it. Um, so I know it's really accurate at 30 yards. Basically, just have a dot right there with a circle around it. I'm going to try and hit that with a five shot group. See how tight I can get. There's a little bit of wind today. Hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. Also, it's a different temperature from when I sighted in the gun. So that should affect it. Not much, but it should affect it. I'll try and take my time on these shots to get them as precise as possible um, at 30 yards. Now normally, um, the guy on Airgun Web, Ricky Usler, says that uh, it's best to get a grouping at 10 yards. But, um, I don't know. I think uh, 30 yards is a better representation for a hunter. Um, of the reach you can get. And I feel like this gun has a better range because of that. So, hopefully I don't hit my camera. I'm trying to do this. I hope you can see. That's the best I can do. Okay. Now, oops, I'm zooming a 
little bit. Now, in my opinion, I think that's a very good group. That is about, well, there's four shots right there, and there's a little flyer right there. That flyer is the first shot I shot, and I had that loaded in um, since yesterday. I don't know if that had any effect on the shot. The pellet might have been an imperfection, who knows. Um, but this group right here, that's, that's what you should be looking at. I mean, that doesn't make that big of a difference. I mean, a bird is maybe, maybe like this wide, maybe like that tall. So if you're aiming at the head, this is a head shot, even with that, every time. Um, there's four shots right there. That's a half inch. Measure that. An inch is about like that, maybe that. So it's maybe th three quarters of an inch at 30 yards. Um, basically every shot, those three right in there all hit each other, and that one went off a little bit. Now, obviously I sighted it hitting that at um, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and right now it's about 60. So that little drop in temperature only dropped the shots about that much at 30 yards. I would venture a guess that the effective range of this would be 40 yards, maybe 50. By then your, your group's going to spread out to about there. So you might miss your shot on the first, you might miss your target on the first shot. Um, and I believe that this would be a kill in one shot. Actually, I've killed birds. Got a headshot on one bird in one shot. It's an amazing group for this gun, QB78. Um, I got all the power upgrades for it. It's about 220 with a bipod and free shipping. Uh, archerairguns.com. You can make your own custom QB78. Uh, highly, rec I highly, highly recommend it. It's extremely accurate. One of the most accurate air guns I've ever had. Um, I have the Gamma Big Cat 1200. I'll be doing a shooting test for that a little bit later to compare. It won't even come close to this at 30 yards. I guarantee you. I'd bet. $200 on it. There's no way you're getting a group. There's no way you're getting a three-quarter inch group at 30 yards. I mean, even with that flyer, most flyers are like, in my experience, I'll have a group like that and the flyer will be like out there. That's not much of a flyer. This is 4JP500 with a shooting test slash review for the QB78. I'm signing off.